Don't tell me you got off too. Okay. Alright guys, I'm gonna try something new today. I'm gonna record uh, probably the intro, might be the outro, I don't know. But I'm gonna record something right now and then talk to you guys quickly. Um, didn't have a great day today. I'm only two for five or two for six, something like that. But I'm I'm not a guy who's really good with being in front of a camera and this and that. I'm trying to do stuff. Plus then too, when I'm editing, I like the idea of when I just do the voiceover, I can you know as I'm doing the voiceover, I can have the video that I want to voiceover playing, and I can point out certain things as the videos going rather than just trying to talk about it and then trying to insert a clip but you guys you know leave a comment down in the section tell me if you like this or if you like the way i've been before if you want me to do a combination of the two um but basically um right now i'm running two pump weights or snap weights or whatever you want to call them it's basically just, you know, a, you know, right now I'm using torpedoes, but you can buy offshore and make some and other, you know, you can pour your own and this and that. They're snap weights. And basically I use a three-way swivel, which I will show you a clip later, but, you know, on my hand or, you know, something around here. I'll pick a clip. But basically, it allows me to swap up my weight because it has an alignment that goes down into a, another dual lock or you know just a snap swivel or something so i can swap up what weights i want to use for the day now today i'm trying to get down 50 60 feet actually i think these are at 45 50 something like that but obviously i need a lot of weight to get down there plus i'm running eight inch flash flies behind them which put adds a lot more drag so I'm using big heavy weight and I'm using some line. I think this one's out 101 feet total. Uh, they're both 101 feet right now. Yeah, I started this one one off earlier in the day, um, 80 feet out. So that's putting it up about that 30 foot range. And I had this one at 101. I was getting a hit more on this one. I did have a hit on that, but then, which I mean, I only got two to the boat today, but right now anyways but I got hit more on this side so I just figured I'd lower this one maybe they don't want to come up as high so I dropped this one down to 120 I think it hit but this one got hit again so when I raise this one up and they're basically at the same depth right now um, now obviously different line counters depending on how I have them feed and stuff they might be slightly different but they're pretty close to the same depth right now and I'm basically running a green flasher fly on this side. It's a salmon candy, if you know that brand. It's the Nate's Dream Scale with the Milwaukee Minnow Fly. But basically, it's just a green bladed flasher. There's chrome tape on one side and green tape on the other. And I have basically just a green, shiny fly behind it. I think it looks more probably greenish blue is the tips of the leaves or whatever, but close enough. This is your classic, just I think this is called the blue stud flasher, but basically it's just a chrome blue flasher with a green fly behind it. Um, closer to the fall, I'll be running basically the same exact thing, except it'll be a white blade. Um, I don't know why, but in the fall it seems like the white gets hot, gets hotter than the silver. Maybe now because they're truly feeding, not fish, maybe the silver works a little better because it's shining like the bait fish is. Not 100% sure. Just know that's what they do. <laughs> but same basic principle. It'll be a white bladed blue flasher with a green fly behind it. So this one's a blue stud flasher. I don't remember if it's a green poly fly or if it's the no mercy salmon candy fly. But it's the same basic thing. It's a green fly. Nothing fancy. I basically only use Got five fly, fly colors. I use frog fly, which is basically UV or mirage tinsel with rubber, like a push green rubber skirt that goes with it. 
Um, then I use a green fly and a blue fly. And then, you know, I think that's pretty much it. Oh no, then I have a purple fly. So, frog, green, blue, purple. Yeah, so four or, fly, four or five different fly colors. Basically it. Um, some fly colors can be basically interchangeable. You can use basically any fly behind the flasher. And sometimes I swap that out. Like I really like the, the flasher, but I'll swap out the fly color till it goes. Um, I think you heard me actually say that on another video where I was just like, oh, I was just about to swap the fly color on that flasher. But then we caught a fish on it. So, and sometimes, you know, it's, it's all taken. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will be putting a clip after this, actually, and I'll show you, you know, basically how the snap weight system works. And I'll probably just do a voiceover with that, you know, because it'll show me deploying one and how it's going to interchange. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and have fun out with me here. All right, have a good day. Alright guys, so here you're going to see me deploying my first flasher fly of the day, actually. I'm going to show, you know, display here how the three-way rig works, or how I have it set up to work for my kayak. As I explained in the previous video, I have a two-foot leader that's tied to a snap weight, which has a bead in front of that, which prevents the snap weight or pump handle, whatever you want to call it, from sliding all the way down to the fish. But today I was using 8 ounce torpedo weights. I added a little bit of video there, just fiddling it out of the pocket. So right now I'm putting a mono line through the first snap. And then I'm going to put the pinch pad, or the line through the pinch pad. And the pinch pad is in front. That way when I reel one in, as you will see in some of the you know the the future you know when I had the fish and stuff you'll see the I snap the line and the, the weight slides down to the fish um, right now I'm basically letting some line out but you see how you know you see how the three-way swivel works right there and now I'm just slowly letting the line out I think this one I actually I let it down a little bit and then I just decided to loosen the drag and slowly let it creep its way out as I was deploying the other rod. But that's pretty much how it works guys. Hope you enjoy the video and please leave a comment if you have questions or if you want me to show a different view of this or close up. Alright, enjoy the video. That feels like a coho. Wow, that's a good fish.
in the net. Wow, I thought you'd be bigger than that. Yeah, 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 I know. I know, bud. I mean, I'm fishing a little higher than I originally expected, but... Oh, fish, 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 fish! It's live, Jake! Wow. Do I gotta let you go? Well, no, I mean, I I just got the phone in the... Ooh, ooh. He's uh, bigger than I thought. Oh, nice. I didn't think he was that big, but I think it's a big laker. So you got me on, like, a microphone headset or something? Uh, no, I just have my phone in my pocket. Oh. Oh, there. Nice. I, I sometimes put my RAM thing on it. I just didn't today. I don't know. Think you're a big laker, and the waves are pushing me. At least you're still on there. I was just thinking you weren't on there anymore. I don't know. I think it's a laker, though. Oh no, it's just a little cold. Oh. Wow, what a ride. Oh. Come on, get in the net, get in the net. Okay, you're in the net. Okay. Okay. Oh. So. Uh, the wind's picked up a lot though since. Are you a coal? Ooh. I might have a little pink. And it might not be big enough. What does that mean? It gotta be 10 inches. Um, what is a pink? A pink salmon. They don't normally come. You're a really little fish, huh? They don't normally come on the south shore. I'm gonna reel this other one up and just float with the wind here because I need to measure them and everything. Heard. But I might just because it's the first one I think I've ever caught. Are they also stocked? No. No one's stocked any salmon for years. Mm. Were they once stocked or? Yeah, they were once. Yeah, no, there no salmon's natural. Okay. Come here, little guy. I don't want to hurt you any more than I have to. Oh, he's got the net all hooked. He's got that dumb single hook all the way through his lip. Oof, I might have to keep him regardless. He's got that thing inhaled. Oh, no. Let's hope he's 10. They gotta be 10. They gotta be 10. I guess he's not bleeding, but oh, I guess he's 15 and a half. A lot bigger than 10. He just looks so dinky. Yeah. Is he skinny? No, I guess he's not necessarily skinny. I guess I don't know. It's just I know the coho is big for being a coho, but I don't know. It just he looks so dinky. Uh -huh. Oh, I guess I'm going to keep them. All right. Big salmon is 4.8 pounds. Well, not in Superior, they don't. 
Yeah. <sighs> 